When LG contacted me a couple of weeks ago and said, are you interested in working with us on a sponsored video? At first I was like, well, I don't really do TV stuff. But then they said, what if it's a 2020 TV with 4K HDR, HDMI 2.1 and it's 86 inches? Well, that changes things now, doesn't it? So here it is. This is the LG 86 Nano 91. And the main reason that I said yes to this and wanted to get this bad boy was for those two cheeky HDMI 2.1 ports on the back there. Now, if you've seen my Xbox Series X impressions video, you'll know why I'm quite excited about this. And that's because it allows you to run a 4K resolution at 120 hertz this is game changing for console players going from 60 to 120 is night and day so for anyone looking to pick up a next gen console and a new tv the inclusion or lack of an hdmi 2.1 port on the set that you choose should be an important consideration so i showed you guys how i was playing dirt 5 at 120 hertz on the new xbox pretty nice experience well what about warzone at native 4k 120 hertz i actually unplugged everything <laughs> lugged my gaming pc downstairs plugged it in and away we go with warzone on an 86 inch tv it's pretty nuts i've never owned a tv this big before i could get inside the box and i have to say that it is quite the cinematic experience with everything ramped up to max graphics and hdr turned on and it is kind of crazy that the rtx 3090 can output those frame rates at that resolution and doom eternal here native 4k mad fps i don't know how the developers optimized this game so well but demon slaying never felt or looked so good personally i've not played doom eternal before with hdr enabled before having this tv and it's quite the experience seeing the colors pop and noticing more detail in the darker areas of the screen and of course the brighter highlights god of war as well on the ps4 pro looks absolutely fantastic so LG called this a nano cell TV with pure color technology. And whilst I haven't had it professionally calibrated yet, it does look very pretty indeed. It checked every single box on the Xbox TV diagnostic. So you've got a ton of features here by the looks of it, including HDR10, HLG, Dolby Vision IQ, Dolby Atmos, and interestingly, FreeSync, which offers a variable refresh rate if you want it for smoothing out any frame rate drops while you're gaming. I've seen that feature on PC monitors before, but never on a TV. Now I wasn't sure how playing PC games on this was going to feel though because the last TV that I owned had quite bad input lag on it but that one is from 2016 and I haven't upgraded since then. But to me, this new TV at 120 hertz, it seemed as responsive as a gaming monitor upstairs in my office. So it was nice to aim on and I didn't notice any major input lag. It does have a game mode too, of course, which I'd recommend playing on if you're gaming and that will automatically turn itself on if you want it to when the TV detects a game being loaded. And that did work with the new Xbox as well. So for a laugh, <laughs> I tried Warzone at 8K just to see what it would look like and what kind of performance my PC would get. So we're at 4K resolution and then I whacked it up to 8K with the resolution scaling. Still on high settings, but I turned anti-aliasing off as you don't really need that at 8K resolution. And we're hitting around 50 to 60 FPS, which if you think about it is kind of nuts. Yeah, it's no way near as smooth as 120, but an interesting experiment to be sure. And the image quality at this resolution on a screen this big, it's just something cool to see. It's certainly something that I've never seen in real life before. So without this turning into a full review type of thing, because I'm bad at that, <laughs> keeping it on a high level, this TV is loaded with all of the apps that you would come to expect. So you've got your Netflix, Amazon, Disney Plus, etc. The remote is kind of interesting too, because you can use it like a laser pointer. Reminded me of the Wii remote at times, but this just means that you can get around menus quicker by not having to press left and right or up and down so many times because you can just point at whatever you want and click. And it does have voice control on it too, including Alexa and Google Assistant. Show me frogs on YouTube. I'll look up frogs in YouTube. Thank you. Ah, yeah. frogs. This little frog is an amazing jumper. 
So I loaded up a couple of 4K Blu-rays that I have to turn off all the smoothing shenanigans. And I have to say, it's a nice picture with decent viewing angles as it's an IPS panel. Like I said, I haven't had it calibrated yet, but that's something that I'll look into doing in the future at some point. Interesting to note though, it does have a picture preset here called Filmmaker Mode. And when you turn this on, it will disable all of the processing effects like motion smoothing, image sharpening, and its intention is to quote, preserve the original vision of the film director. So it will simply display the raw media of whatever you're playing in its original frame rate and settings without the TV attempting to change or enhance anything with AI. Wrapping things up, I think it's a pretty cool TV. It does the job for me and it will be perfect for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X with those two HDMI 2.1 ports at the back but do look up a proper review if you're interested in it because these are just my impressions and I'm not a professional TV reviewer if you haven't noticed already. I do feel super lucky to have this though and I reckon I'll mount it on the wall to my right where the old TV was just to give it that floating look although I am terrible at DIY so that won't be very fun. With that said, a big thanks to LG for sending this over and sponsoring the video. The Nano 91 is available in 55, 65, 75 and 86 inch versions and that's the one that you saw here. And if you're interested in checking it out for yourself, there's a link down in the description below. Cheers for watching guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.